हेलो एंड वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम बैक टू अवर नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ इकोलॉजी लेक्चर सीरीज टिल नो वी हैव कंप्लीटेड सम पार्ट ऑफ द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट ऑफ द बायोस्फीयर दैट इज द हाइड्रोस्फीयर लिथोस्फीयर एंड एटमोस्फीयर सी वट एवर द पार्ट विच वी हैव लर्न टिल नो you will find most of this part at least some part of your uh, what you can say uh, uh, this syllabus or you will find these parts somewhere in your notes even in gs notes also you will find it so there was nothing difficult in what we have studied till now okay in a three lectures but now the thing is now the upcoming two or three lectures will be there which will actually deal with the point which will more correlate with the point which is given in the upsc syllabus see in the upsc syllabus as said they have given one point one point only that is the concept of biosphere okay then they have started with the ecosystem ecology bio bio uh, the ecotone and all other thing right so see literally under the point that is concept of biosphere upsc can ask any point which we which may or may not come even under the biosphere okay suppose you have two or three books in your university which are depending on ecology or biosphere upsc can ask any point from that books and will say that this comes under the concept of biosphere okay so that is again see you will find such points mentioned in the uh, almost every chapter okay so that there are such an vast points are there okay like the concept of biosphere literally anything can come okay so they will give such point in every uh, the every point of uh, uh, every ch uh, chapter okay so that even if they ask any uh, some difficult question then they will say see this point is come uh, this point is coming under this particular point okay so we cannot say that this is out of the syllabus right so that is what the biology is if you have just given concept of biosphere literally anything can comes under it right but obviously we cannot go and uh, study all these two or three uh, reference books which are there in our university right so we will have to limit our syllabus to some extent right so for, for that what we have done for that the first thing i have done for you is to find out what are the uh, what are the last previous year questions are there on each of the point of the syllabus okay so we have divided the syllabus in almost 300 point uh, 300 plus points right then we have arranged that what are the questions on each of these points in the syllabus in last 27 years of csc and last 25 years of uh, the indian forest service right so entirely we have almost like 47 or 48 something uh, these question papers in our question bank so now whenever we approach a particular point we already know that what are the points or what are the questions which were earlier asked on that particular point then we study that point according to that only okay now in this way our syllabus get limited and at the same time it also increases the chances of attempting maximum questions in the exam how because if you are looking at almost every question on every point of the syllabus then uh, and that too in last 25 years then there are very less chances are there that there any new question will come okay so that is the case we have done for this also concept of biosphere i have already shown you the slide okay till now only three questions are there which we can correlate with this point that is the concept of biosphere in many of the students Uh, previous your question book you will not find this point as an separately mentioned but later on when i came to know i have just draw out these three questions separately and made a separate separate point okay so in the recent editions you will find it is separately mentioned okay so the concept of biosphere upsc has asked under the concept of biosphere almost three questions okay the one thing is simple in the indian forest service in 2016 they have asked directly bio biosphere and a note for eight marks okay so that is the most simpler question after that okay or before that in 2011 they have also asked about the levels of organization in the biosphere okay see the levels of organization in biosphere we can also study in other part of the ecology syllabus only okay still that is okay but here in 2020 in the csc they have asked about the division of the biosphere okay so the biosphere ka division kya hai wo bhi puch liya right now if we look at this point that is the concept of biosphere okay see here these lectures get useful that 
we are not analyzing only questions we are also analyzing the points which are there in this syllabus so that it may not happen that we will miss any question okay we are decreasing the chances of such questions which we may not able to answer okay if we think in almost all the directions on a particular or almost every point of the syllabus then we will be able to attempt maximum questions okay or we can say 100% of the questions of the question paper ठीक है सो बेसिकली इस जो लेक्चर्स में क्या होता है कि हम हर एक पॉइंट ऑफ द सिलेबस को एनालाइज करते हैं अच्छी तरीके से और सिर्फ सिलेबस के पॉइंट को ही एनालाइज नहीं करते हम प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चंस को भी एनालाइज करते हैं ओके okay. इससे क्या होता है कि उस क्वेश्चन उस पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट के ऊपर कोई भी अगर पॉसिबल क्वेश्चन भी आए इन फ्यूचर ओके देन ऑल्सो वी विल बी एबल टू आंसर ओके उसके बाद भी हम उसे आंसर कर पाएंगे ठीक है या फिर हमें हर एक क्वेश्चन को अटेम्प्ट करना है हर एक कर पॉसिबल क्वेश्चन को अटेम्प्ट करना है इसलिए हम उस पर अच्छा विचार करते हैं राइट नो अंडर द कंसेप्ट ऑफ बायस पर व्हाट वी हैव स्टडी टिल नाउ अब तक हमने क्या क्या पढ़ा है ठीक है पहले तो हमने ये देखा जनरल डेफिनेशन देखा ठीक है वी हैव सीन दी डेफिनेशन ओके डेफिनेशन के बाद हमने ऑल्सो देखा कि Important point. We have also seen the energy sources. हमने ये देखा कि biosphere energy कहाँ से लाता है? Okay. In that we have seen the main two energy sources are what? Just a minute. I need to I think somewhat clear a dust which is over there. this dust creates a problem okay for detecting this a oh, pen okay now it's okay see now the thing is that first of all we have already seen the definition okay then we have see energy sources that one of that the uh, earth heat and solar radiation okay then we have also seen important point the types or division of this concept uh, the biosphere okay biosphere ko division humne kaise kiya how we have divided the biosphere first we have divided it into the lithosphere लिथोस्फीयर के बाद वी हैव सीन हाइड्रोस्फीयर एंड देन एट द लास्ट वी हैव सीन द एटमोस्फीयर बट द टास्क डज नॉट गेट ओवर हियर ओके जो टास्क है वो या फिर कंसेप्ट वो यहीं पर कंप्लीट नहीं होती है राइट बिकॉज रिमेंबर at the time of studying the biosphere or defining biosphere we have said that the division of biosphere does not consider only this lithosphere hydrosphere atmosphere but also the life forms the biotic life form which are present in all of these spheres okay then this biotic component we have not studied na bahut sare notes mein aapko yahi milega in many notes you will find that they have given only division in these three formats okay even on the online resources also you will find biosphere has been divided into the three parts that's it okay but the next important component we should not forget at any cost of this biosphere okay which is the biotic life unless and until we add the biotic life in all of these spheres this biosphere will not get completed otherwise this is just the division of the earth land hai oceans hai and air hai बट वी आर नॉट स्टडिंग जोग्राफी हियर ओके हम जोग्राफी तो नहीं स्टडी कर रहे राइट तो हमें यहां पर स्टडी करना है विच आर दी लाइफ फॉर्म्स विच आर देयर इन ऑल ऑफ दीज लिथोस्पियर हाइड्रोस्पियर एटमोस्फियर हर एक में कौन कौन से लाइफ है ये हमें स्टडी करना है ठीक है सॉरी यस सो लेट स्टडी विच आर दीज लाइफ फॉर्म्स विच आर देयर हियर तो टूडेज लेक्चर एंड द टूमारोज लेक्चर which will be based on these only okay 
now the notes till now you may find at some locations at least but the notes which i am going to give you for today's lecture and tomorrow's lectures you are not going to find it anywhere okay the reference books for this i'm just going to tell you it's i think varclav something name is there but i'm going to tell you the exact name of the author okay so that for the cross reference you can go through it okay vaclav smil the earth's biosphere okay that is the reference books for the notes okay vaclav smith the earth's biosphere okay and that is very much uh, this what you can say important those who can time or those who want to prepare on their own can take this book for this particular point <laughs> that is the concept of biosphere okay then again you will see this is one book for one point of the syllabus that's the thing with the zoology syllabus okay if you want to make the what you can say the best notes huh, then you will have to see at least four to five books for every point of the syllabus it's not the case that for one chapter uh, four to five syllabus books are there for every point you may have to go for many of the books right literally on the every point which is there in the syllabus when they mention transcription translation okay on almost such points there are different books are there dna fingerprint in one point is there but actually you will find different books on dna fingerprint okay so that is the case okay this is the difficulty in phosphology that where to stop studying okay right but i have already given you the demarcated lines so you should just only refer the material and the notes which i am giving you directly okay don't go for any anything else so now with this with this understanding of the concept of biosphere now we will move on but in the next phase now we are going to study that we have already studied now this lithosphere what it is hydrosphere and the atmosphere now we just need to add the biotic life component on to all of these okay so in the earlier lectures we have seen the biosphere okay then we have seen the hydrosphere okay lithosphere okay all these seas okay atmosphere also we have seen what is this stratosphere troposphere thermosphere mesosphere exosphere okay all that we have already seen so now the part is the biotic life in all of these spheres okay ab tak ka jo part tha wo easy tha abhi ye bhi part easy hai par ye kahin milega nahi okay but as i have already told you we have upgraded our interface i am giving you more time for making this powerpoint more interactive so now these will help you okay you should correlate with the images which are over here to the content which is there okay so one by one we will see so the first is the biotic life ओके बायोस्पियर में जो बायोटिक लाइफ है ओके सो लेट्स सी फर्स्ट स्पियर इज व्हाट एज वी हैव सीन इज द एटमॉस्फेयर राइट पहला जो स्पियर हमने देखा था ओके नाउ दी यू कैन चेंज द व्हाट यू कैन से द सीक्वेंस ओके सो फर्स्ट स्पियर और यू कैन आल्सो डू अदर थिंग ओके द अदर वे ऑफ गिविंग दिस नोट्स विल बी टू एक्सप्लेन द एटमॉस्फेयर एंड देन इमीडिएटली गिव द लाइफ फॉर्म्स व्हिच आर देयर to explain the lithosphere and then just immediately give the life forms which are in that lithosphere to explain the hydrosphere and just immediately give the life forms which are in the hydrosphere you can also do in that way also or you can do in this way that is up to you right but i suppose this way is kind of more informative because we are already uh, this explaining this sphere separately and then we are giving all the life form at one place okay so the examiner will can see it is easily that the biotic life in this biosphere okay special point see many of the students say that sir i have checked this year's paper and i have found uh, that i can at least attempt every one of this question so i will take this zoology and uh, i will be able to score more okay or i will be able to score at least 200 300 in it easily okay this is the belief of many of the students they come here okay they attempt uh this uh, the prelims they make it qualified and after that they attend with the zoology material which they have okay the worst thing which i have heard is that some of the students were actually preparing some chapters of the uh, the ecology and such points or evolution uh, chapters like evolution from the ncrts okay you can see they, there was one video is are also there who is literally they are saying that yes evolution will be studied from the ncrt and these uh, these chapters from here these and the some chapters like codet are not having resources so that we need to study from other reference books okay there is absolutely misguided students are there some of these right because evolution which is there in the ncrt 
or the ecology which are there in NCERT is not even 10 to 12, uh, 10 to 15 percent of which we need to study. Okay, but that is where the guidance come into play. Okay, see that is what I have said. The materials has been prepared by giving dedicated time for this only. Okay, almost one and a half years we are preparing on it. So it is getting made at that level. Okay, that a particular point is there that what should be the best answer on that. Compare the UPSC's previous year questions, Forest Service previous year questions, and then make the notes on it. Okay, so that it will fit into that criteria. Right? What should be the best answer on a particular question for the UPSC? That no one is, no one can tell you. The reason is, even a topper which is of 2022, he may have some other way of writing that answer, and a topper of 2021 may have some other way of writing answer. So the representation may vary, right? But what we can guess is okay. No one's no one single policy or no one single strategy can be perfect. Okay, we have heard from the topper some some say don't make notes, some say are make notes on every point, some say uh, I don't read newspaper, some say some are saying that I read newspaper every day. Okay, uh, kuch log, uh, some uh, students topper say that read only from magazines, don't you uh, read from the newspaper? Some are saying give four to four hours to the newspapers. Okay, so these strategies will vary. Okay, what we should do as student that suppose we have a point in front of us, then we should just try. If you are making notes on your own, now you should just try to make best possible note on that particular toy, uh, that particular point, depending on the analysis or depending on the understanding which you have on that particular point. Bus that we should be necessary for this okay now that will be difficult for the other subjects like polity and geography or maybe uh, this uh, social science but for zoology it could be easily identified why because if you have been asked crepe cycle then you should clearly be able to understand that a crepe size whatever you will write if related with the crepe cycle then that should be the part of the answer only okay it is not the case that the crepe cycle pucha hai then uh, one student will prepare entirely different answer and another topper student will make an entirely different answer it will not be the case both of them will draw the crepe cycle only now the additional part will only be the case that what are the additional points with which these students can reach that crepe cycle okay so that we are what we are going to study in these lectures okay that what i have tried to do from start okay just adding the knowledge and giving you in a simplistic way right so now let's start with the atmosphere so whatever the life which is there in this atmosphere usually it is limited to 40 to 45 40 to 50 kilometer above the earth's surface okay most of the life is there in this only and that too most of the life is there in this 40 to 50 kilometers most of most of the life is there in lower layers of the atmosphere okay see the as we know the lower layer is the troposphere then the stratosphere is there right so most of the life we can say 90 percent of the life we can say is limited to the troposphere only okay you can imagine okay these birds okay whatever the flies which made might be there here okay all of them are limited to what the tropospheric layer only of the atmosphere so in this now there are different see as i have told you i never give you the answers in the form of essay okay so i have divided the life forms which are there in these atmospheric layers in different points okay mene aise simplified karke aapko diya hai ki if you write in just that format only in exam then only examiner will be able to find it very easy to understand and give you a mark how let's see what we have done we have categorized the animal life in two or three category okay the first category is the crypto biotic survivors right now to learn about the cryptobiotic survivor okay first we need to understand the meaning of the cryptobiosis okay then those who, who are showing the cryptobiosis will be called as the cryptobiotic right so let's the let's study the cryptobiosis in short okay there are various definitions out there in the books but if you want to analyze in the simplistic language the cryptobiosis is just what the ability of the organisms to survive extreme metabolic inactivity okay how does it mean okay or what does it mean let's see 
एक्सट्रीम मेटाबोलिक इन एक्टिविटी मीन वॉट दर्गेनिजम विल बी ऑलमोस्ट डेड ओके क्रिप्टोबायोसिस क्या है क्रिप्टोबायोसिस एक ऐसी कंसेप्ट है जिसमें जो ऑर्गेनिज्म होता है वो ऑलमोस्ट बिहेव लाइक एंड डेड वो को ऑलमोस्ट ऐसे लगता है कि वो शायद मर ही गया हो बिकॉज इट इज नॉट शोइंग एनी काइंड ऑफ एक्टिविटी ओके सी बेसिकली टू होम डिड वी कॉल एज अ लाइव ओके दे आर शोइंग सम एटलीस्ट मोमेंट्स ओके और एटलीस्ट सम इंट्रैक्ट दिस फिजियोलॉजिकल रिएक्शन विच आर हैपनिंग इन साइड देम ओके बट सम ऑफ द एनिमल्स आर शोइंग एक्सट्रीम लेवल ऑफ इनएक्टिविटी दैट मीन्स वॉट इवन द बॉडी रिएक्शन विच आर अकरिंग इन देयर बॉडी दे ऑल्सो गेट इनएक्टिव टू अ वेरी हाई एक्सटेंट उनके बॉडी के अंदर जो मेटाबोलिक रिएक्शन है वो भी इनएक्टिव हो जाते हैं टू वेरी हाई एक्सटेंट ओके सो दैट इट इज लिटरली लुकिंग लाइक दैट मे बी इट इज दैट ऐसा लगता है शायद ये मर ही गया हो ओके बट दैट इज नॉट द केस Cryptobiosis is the specific activity of some of the organisms. One of the specific and most famous example is the tardigrade. Okay, you have heard about tardigrades before. So, what is tardigrade? See, this is the active state of ta the tardigrade. Okay, walking. Okay, the tardigrade is like this. Okay, I will show you the image of the tardigrade. Okay. कहा गई सेपरेट स्लाइड पे लिया था हमने वो नो द टार्डिग्रेड इमेज द स्पेसिफिक इमेज आर इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ओके बिकॉज द नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज टू स्टडी द एनिमल्स विच आर लिविंग एट द हायर टेम्परेचर ना सो एट दैट टाइम दिस डायग्राम ऑफ दर बट स्टिल यू कैन सी दिस इज द डायग्राम ऑफ द टार्डिग्रेड ओके इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ड्रॉ अ रिप्रेजेंटेड डायग्राम ना देन आई विल शो यू okay see these are diagrams like this these are the organisms like this and they have the feet like this okay at the same other sides maybe same so whatever these kind of these tardigrades are there na no? these are what we can say very much tough so they can even withstand the high ultraviolet radiations they can withstand very high temperatures also till then they will be able to be alive whenever the normal conditions will return okay so example is this tardigrade only cryptobiosis ka so let's see which are the different conditions which might come and how these tardigrade behaves okay suppose the first condition which is called as what lack of oxygen that is means what an oxybiosis okay so whenever the lack of oxygen comes it will show or whatever the internal the body of this tardigrade is there it will undergo this an oxybiosis so because of that what will happen they will be able to survive even that lower level of oxygen same case whenever a low temperature will come okay at that time its body will behave in such a way that they will show cryobiosis so that they will be able to alive also even in the less temperature maybe temperature here, here is minus 2 degree celsius still the tardigrades will show cryobiosis and they will become what we can say they will remain in that inactive state for suppose 2 months here also they remain here in this anoxybiosis condition or lack of oxygen state for 2 months another is what anhydrobiosis suppose there is very all, almost no water is there so they will undergo desiccation so they will show the anhydrobiosis so this is also again for two months and this is the osmobiosis which will happen in the case of osmotic pressure means for suppose very high osmotic pressure is there okay in the surrounding environment then the tardigrade will show the osmotic uh, this osmobiosis they will achieve this form and they will remain in this particular form for two months then now what will happen okay all of these different forms of this tardigrade can return back to this active form if suppose here 
the water is not there now suppose water comes then again they can become active if suppose the temperature was very low if the suppose the temperature become 30 degrees celsius then again they can come back to this uh, this uh, active state here earlier lack of oxygen was there suppose the oxygen supply came back then also when they can again come back to the active state here suppose suppose the very high saline saline or uh, the also high osmotic uh, pressure was there high saline conditions were there then again if it decreases the osmotic pressure decreases to the normal then again it can come to this active site active form again active state right this is the capacity of these cryptobiotic organisms okay one of the best example is the tardigrade okay those who are showing the cryptobiosis are called as cryptobiotic organisms or survivors right so what these organisms are uh, just giving they are able to withstand extreme metabolic inactivity and they are able to come back to life when the normal gentler conditions come back got it cryptobiosis samajh mein aaya because cryptobiosis is also going to help you in the next uh, the lecture so just try to understand this right so this for the first cryptobiotic survivors we have already given the example so not only tardigrade there are certain other uh, these organisms are also there which can shows the cryptobiosis which are like the uh, the solid uh, the which are like the bacteria fungi okay the viruses pollens spores okay they are also able to survive okay some of them were also able to survive this high osmotic pressure high temperature or any such extreme environmental conditions they show the extreme uh, the metabolic inactivity and they come back to the life okay so in this basically which are the forms of the life can uh, the life can be exist in different forms like the in the bio aerosol form also the life can exist in the atmosphere in which the living and non living things will form these bio aerosols okay not only that some of the microorganisms can itself stay aloft in the atmosphere okay or they can itself they stay uh, what we can say uh, the disperse into the atmosphere without any use of what wings and other things okay because of their only light wet or because of their very low uh, this dimensions also what they are doing they are able to uh, just guest uh, disperse or lifted in the atmosphere on their own okay so they remain aloft in the atmosphere by their own okay even if the wind comes they are going to that that wind might just blow them at a very high height in the atmosphere so these are the some of the microorganisms can also be there okay the minute micro the viruses can also be there right and there could be some solid and liquid agglomerations can be there okay which may have this either these viruses or it may have some spores in it or it may have certain pollens in it or it may have certain fungi into it right so in this form the life can be present in the atmosphere and these can show okay or out of these those who will be able to show the cryptobiosis they will be able to survive okay and those who will not be able to show uh, survive the cryptobiosis they will die okay now why the cryptobiosis will help the organisms in the atmosphere see most of the time in the troposphere it will not show that kind of harsh environmental condition okay but suppose that organism is blown away into the stratosphere where high atmospheric condition is there at that time this cryptobiosis may help them okay so out of those organisms who are blown into the stratosphere only few of them will able to withstand the high osmotic pressure and when these organisms will come down to the tropospheric level they can again flourish okay they can again reproduce okay so that's why this cryptobiosis is required okay because for that part of life for which they are suppose this is the troposphere okay and here this stratosphere is there okay this is suppose what 12 km height is there right suppose an organism is blown away at this position okay here the temperature was very high okay but here temperature was minimum only right so for this time when they were blown to this into the stratosphere they need to withstand the extreme metabolic condition right so out of this say 90% will not be able to survive the uh, this extreme environmental conditions because they are not cryptobiotic okay so out of these those are cryptobiotic when they will settle down and come to the stratosphere they can flourish again okay 
because they are now able to survive the crypto biases because they have this inherent capacity to show crypto biases to withstand extreme environmental condition or to withstand extreme metabolic inactivity okay so that is the part with the crypto biases and the life forms which can be present in that part of atmosphere so we have already seen that in the troposphere these life forms can be observed okay various virus fungi pollens insect birds you can see okay the chickens or this uh, these bees frogs okay these birds this uh, this bacteria snakes humans elephants okay arthropods insects many of these life forms are there in the tropospheric level okay we have seen these toads which are there in the we can say in they are present in the water also but they you will also find them onto the land also right so these are the what the tropospheric life forms are there okay then what is the next case is there this stratosphere okay abhi jo next part hai okay chat the frog which i have shown you okay इट माइट बी गो इन टू द लिथोस्फियर ओके फ्रॉक का जो इमेज डाला हुआ है ना वो यहाँ पर नहीं जाएगा क्योंकि इट्स नॉट फ्लाइंग इन द एटमोस्फियर राइट सो आई विल हैव टू करेक्ट दैट राइट सो नेक्स्ट थिंग विच वी आर गोइंग टू सी और क्या एनिमल्स थे ओके सो दी ऑल ऑफ दीज आर फ्लाइंग ओनली ना स्नेक एर फ्रॉग ही नहीं ओके दीज इमेज नीड टू बी शिफ्टेड टू द लिथोस्फेरिक लाइफ फॉर्म्स ओके सॉरी फॉर दैट नाउ नेक्स्ट थिंग इज वॉट now we have seen the life forms which are in the troposphere okay now we will see the life forms which are there in the stratosphere okay see stratosphere mein already we have seen that only few those who are able to show or those who are able to survive cryptobiosis will only be able to survive the stratospheric condition because temperature is going to be high in the stratosphere right so one of the example is that clostridium perfringens okay clostridium perfringens can show the cryptobiosis so that's why it is able to survive in the stratosphere okay see because basically high uv radiations are there in the stratosphere high temperatures are also there in the uh, these uh, stratosphere and even the low temperatures up to minus 60 degree celsius are also there in these stratosphere so the organism should be able to survive this minus 60 degree celsius now the organism should be able to survive this high uv radiation so clostridium perfringens can survive it so that's why it is the organism life which is there in the stratosphere okay this is what we need to do now we needed to show the life forms in all of these spheres of the biosphere okay so this was the first sphere okay hame kya show karna tha ki jo pure biosphere se un har ek biosphere ke divisions mein kon kon si life प्रेजेंट है राइट सो हम पहले एटमोस्फेयर देख रहे थे इन दैट वी हैव सीन ऐसे कोई ऑर्गेनिज्म हमने देखे जो कि एक्सट्रीम कंडीशन पे जी सकते हैं राइट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू शी दो ऑर्गेनिजम्स और दो बायोटिक लाइफ विच इज देर इन दोपोस्फियर और स्टेटोस्फियर ओनली विच इज द सेकेंड वन इज द माइग्रेटिंग बर्ड्स ओके बर्ड्स एक्चुअल देर आर सम स्पेसीज ऑफ द बर्ड्स आर देर हु स्पेंड ऑलमोस्ट एट मंथ इन एन ईयर जस्ट इन अ फ्लाइंग कंडीशन okay actually they are trying to uh, have their trip from arctic to antarctic so they just uh, just give four months from arctic to antarctic then again they give next four months for antarctic to arctic okay so almost eight months of an year they spend in the air in the atmosphere only okay so these are the migrating birds are there right but still if it is migrating but we can say that they are living in the atmosphere because nothing can live as such in the atmosphere except some of the microbes uh, or minute virus virus particles are there which may never settle down onto the lithosphere so we can consider that they will always be in the atmosphere but other these are the just temporarily visitors of atmosphere only basically for uh, eating for uh, what you can say living they are required to go onto the land of, okay or even on trees right but these are the example which are living in the uh, which, which you can consider in this uh, the atmosphere only right so examples kya hai arctic tern and bar headed geese okay so what these are doing they are going to fly at a very high tropospheric layers high tropospheric layers means up to what up to 30000 feet okay even one bird is found that means almost up to the height of 10 km okay 
the recent findings are there okay so we cannot be sure but still at least we will find these organisms easily could at the height of 8 to 10 km from the surface of the earth in the troposphere itself high tropospheric level okay very high levels of the troposphere okay like the bar headed geese and arctic tern okay you will have to remember any one of the next are those organisms which are flying or which are migrating but at a lower height of the atmosphere uh, the troposphere not at a very high height like like 8 km 6 km 10 km okay you will find such migrating birds only at the height of like 500 meter or 400 meter or 1000 meter okay so the examples are like sandpipers and the wobblers okay so they are even flying at this very low height right so the next organisms in this atmosphere are insect agle organism jo hai jo atmosphere mein jeete hai are kaun se hai insects okay so many of the insects spend most of their life flying only right to example kya kya hai iske first one is the migratory locust okay migratory locust first example hai okay this may be the example of another locust and the second example is the monarch butterfly okay aapko sirf yaad rakhne ke liye ye diagram images dekhne hai okay because you will have to remember these names na so when you see these diagrams then only you are going to remember okay so these are the two examples are there this locust and butterflies are there okay many of these the the locust fly at the height of 1000 meter or some fly at the height of 3000 meter okay some of most of the butterflies fly not more than 20 meters okay 20 meter ke upar jada upar ke height se nahi urte butterfly okay so these are some of the insects which are there in the atmosphere only okay next is what the next sphere okay so now we have given almost enough examples okay we can obviously give 10 times more examples as compared to these but we don't want to do PhD here. We, we need to write very concise answer on this part of the question. So that's why I have given you limited examples. You will find some more into the notes. Okay. Because that is what the going to be significance of the notes is there. Right. But the lectures are going to be more interactive, more interesting, and you will find more content in the notes. Okay. So that's why both will be necessary. Right. The earlier pattern was used to, I used to make notes and just take that point from those notes only into the, uh, as in uh, uh, this, what you can say, text for the lecture. Okay, because earlier, earlier I, I didn't had any time. Okay, but now as I have some more time, I am making, I am giving time to make this PowerPoint more worth and interactive. Right. So now with the atmosphere, now let's go to the next sphere that is the hydrosphere. Okay. See, in the hydrosphere, in water, basically, what is the case? Up to 200 meters, the photic zone is there to which the sunlight can penetrate into the water. Okay. In that layer only, we will find most of the life forms. Okay. So, that life forms also have to struggle with some other problems in the water. Okay. The next thing, one of the problem is the availability of the nutrients. Okay. Because as the water is a very vast and vastly distributed throughout the earth whatever the nutrients are there now they are very scarce in the water okay so the scarcity of nutrients is going to be faced by the organisms or the life which is there in the water right so you can see here so whatever this photic zone is there now in this region only you will find most of the life okay but it is not the case okay it is not the case that there is no life in the other zone of the ocean or the water okay there is life is uniformly distributed not we can say uniformly but life is also distributed or life is also present in all other layers of the water also or the ocean also so we are going to see one by one not all of them but we are seeing some of the examples of it right so we are going to divide the life in two parts in shallow water in the upper layers or in the bottom layer that is the deep water so shallow water mein kya hai? in the first zone that is the epipelagic zone and the second zone that is the mesopelagic zone so in the epipelagic zone you can see which are these examples are there which are clearly seen in the diagram like the dolphins and tuna there were more examples were there okay but hame pura nahi likhna hai okay that is why i have said we will have to make some boundary at some point 
अदरवाइज वी विल बी गिव दी फोर्ट दिस हंड्रेड पेज ओनली फॉर दिस बायोस्फियर पॉइंट ओनली ओके हंड्रेड पेज और टू हंड्रेड पेज फॉर दी नोट्स ऑन बायोस्फियर ओनली ओके बिकॉज लिटरली देर आर एंडलेस थिंग्स आर देर इन जूलॉजी ओके सो टू एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ द पीपेलॉजिक जोन डॉल्फिन्स एंड बिग आई ट्यू ना राइट देन देर आर अगेन इन दिस इपीपेलॉजिक जोन फाइटो प्लैंगटर्स आर ऑल्सो देर ओके फाइटो प्लैंगटर्स भी इसी इपीपेलॉजिक जोन में ही है ओके okay. इसी अपर इपीपेलॉजिक जोन में ही है राइट नेक्स्ट आर द फ्लैजलेट्स एंड डेनो फ्लैजल सो थ्री कैटेगरीज आई हैव गिवन यू विच यू विल राइट अंडर द इपीपेलॉजिक जोन ये जो अपर लेयर है उस लेयर में ये तीन लाइफ फॉर्म्स हैं राइट एंड द नेक्स्ट लाइफ फॉर्म्स विच आर देर इन द मिजोपेलॉजिक जोन और द नेक्स्ट जोन इज epipelagic this one next is mesopelagic then is bathypelagic abyss pelagic and hadal pelagic is so one by one we will going to see so mesopelagic mein kaun sa squids crabs and cat shark okay iske baad ka jo layer hai usme kya hai squids hai shark crab sharks hai and cat sharks and crabs hai right so these are three examples under the mesopelagic zone now once we have seen the shallow or the upper layer, life which form which are there in the upper layers of the the hydrosphere now we will see some of those who are present under the deep ocean okay that is the in the deep waters bathypelagic mein kaun se squids octopuses viper fish okay ye octopus hai present in the which zone bathypelagic zone i have given you three examples so you can name at least one okay ek bhi name kar sakte ho because in the exam you will get most likely you will get this space to write only one example right but still try to remember two on in each of these the next layer is the abyssopelagic layer is there in that angler fish and black this uh, uh, the swallower is there so uh, yeah this is the example of the angler fish ye kya hai angler fish hai okay present in the abyssopelagic zone and into the less, uh, last bottom layer that is the sea cucumber is there or the tube worms are there okay so these are the sea cucumber present in the almost floor of the oceans are the tube worms i suppose now with these different diagrams and images it will help you to remember okay the lectures okay or you will have to just speed up this lecture with the speed of at least 1.5 or 2 you will be still able to be uh, the understand the lecture okay because i suppose more many of the students do that only okay so this is the case this is these are the life forms present in the different forms okay and there are certain things in the zoology which you should not read okay there are certain things in the zoology which should which you should just understand and remember okay isko pad ke yaad rakhne ki zarurat nahi chahiye padni chahiye okay you should just remember by looking at it you should just remember by understanding it okay so these are some of these things only right so we have already seen these different zones just for your understanding i have given you right now first we have completed the atmospheric life then we have completed the hydrosphere's life now we will see the life forms which are there in the lithosphere right lithosphere mein jo life hai wo dekh sakte hain right so the life forms in the lithosphere can be present above the surface inside the earth crust and even below the earth crust that is the case okay agar ye earth hai if this is the earth okay and suppose this is the earth crust okay the life form can present above it inside it and below it right so the uppermost layer of soils mein hai on that we already know that humans animals like this cats and dogs are there plants fungi okay all of these are present on the surface of the uh, this earth crust or the earth and these are the other bacteria which are like the photosynthesizing bacteria are there or cyanobacteria are there or the algae are there so these are the life forms which are present in the upper most layer of the soil okay ye wale life forms hai jo upper most layer pe hai right but the next thing which we need to study is the life form which are present below the surface of the earth okay aise life forms hai jo earth ke surface ke niche bhi hai right earlier it was not thought that the life forms could survive there okay but when the scientist carried out various experiments and expeditions in these earth crust or the areas below the earth surface at that time they found that there are life forms are present there 
सो लेट सी वन बाय वन ओके सी अर्थ फॉर्म्स एंड सेंटिपिट्स ये कहा रहते हैं बिलो द सरफेस ऑफ द अर्थ एज वी नो दे आर बरिड इन साइड दर्फेस राइट देर आर ऑल्सो सम लाइफ फॉर्म्स आर देर लाइक दी विच आर प्रेजेंट वन पॉइंट सेवन फाइव टू टू मीटर बिलो द सर्फेस ऑफ दर्स विच आर वॉट टर्माइट ओके एंड कुड लिव अप टू थ्री मीटर इन साइड दी बिलो द अर्थ सर्फेस और डीप इन साइड द अर्थ सर्फेस ओके एंड इवन इवन बिलो दिस थ्री मीटर डेफ्थ we will also still find the life forms which are in the forms of bacteria like this sulfate reducing bacteria thermo anaerobacter okay so these bacteria are also the sulfate reducing bacteria say bacteria will found at the depth of almost 500 meters from the surface of the earth okay earth ka jo surface hai uske 500 meter niche jaane ke baad sulfate reducing bacteria milegi okay so that is the in case and not only that there are reports that life forms are also present Almost seven kilometer below the oceanic sir, uh, this crust, and seven five kilometer below the Earth's continental crust. Okay. So that is the extent of the life forms. Okay, itne deep tak life ja chuke hai. On the above, it the life forms goes up to fifty kilometers, forty kilometers, but below they goes up to the what? Almost seven kilometer below the Earth's surface. Okay, so this is the Earth form. Okay. Ants are there, the termites are there. Okay, so these are there are different locations are there. Uh, earth's here below surface, pe centipedes and earthworm will be almost two meter deep. Termites will be almost three meter deep. May ant may be present. Okay, you will find the ants on this ants on the surface also. Okay. So now this is how the division of the different biotic life in these spheres of the biosphere is there. Okay, you will not find these kind of simplified notes anywhere. Okay, that is my challenge. Okay. and there is one more lecture will be there on this biosphere only which we are going to conduct next and it will also be freely available on to the youtube right so if you have any query you can put there in the comment box or you can personally message on my telegram or even in the channel or the group till then we will take a break we will meet for the next lecture tomorrow till then have a great day bye bye